Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in to the Dead Cod Plus save file once again and seeing what we can do. We've been having a little trouble with the bosses at the end. Um, ooh, we already did Mastema, didn't we? Did we already do Mastema? I don't actually know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Let's randomize again. Ooh, Tainted Lazarus to Mother. Okay. So, yeah, basically I've figured out um, that we can do some stuff with... Um, the mod that adds the boss armor to essentially just tweak it to our liking. Also, uh, we said about just changing this here. So we'll, we will indeed change this. Um, how do I activate this again? Okay, there you go. Yeah, we'll just tweak that um, and come back out of this menu. Yeah, um, so there is different ways that we can change and tweak the boss armor to be a little more forgiving a little more to our liking so if we end up having too many losses because i'm not i'm not saying that i want to win every single run i don't want it to be as easy as it was before the whole point in these mods was to make the game a little harder for us um but i also don't want it to feel like no matter what i run we're gonna have a hard time also the fact that flip has a unique sprite there is pretty interesting uh so we take that we flip and we, for some reason, got ourselves a bunch of pennies there. I'm not sure why, but we'll, we'll, we'll take them. Um, yeah, we got marked. I quite like marked. I think I think a lot of people diss on marked just because it's a bit weird. But I think with the changes it received in Repentance, it became a hell of a lot more usable, at least in my opinion. Just trying to eke out every little bit of value while we're playing as these characters here. Uh, of course, with Flip now, we have much higher chance of doing well. But we still need to kind of try. Uh, but yeah, so if I end up finding the end game bosses are like a bit too ridiculous. Also, small rock is real nice here. Almost picked it up as the wrong character there. I'm actually going to leave it um, until we flip again. Um, but yes, if we end up finding that they're too difficult, I can switch them around. I can change them um, to be a little more forgiving. I can never really remember how to, uh, how to do this. Uh. Okay, that didn't really go the way I planned, but it kind of worked out in the end. Okay, so now we flipped over. We'll grab ourselves small rock as this dude here. I just want this guy to have a lot of damage and fire rate, just because he kind of seems like the most, like the, the best character to have it. Uh, throws a blue flame, curse, uh, curses enemies on contact, curse enemies take um, 1.5 damage, the curse will last. Okay, kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to afford that, but I kind of like the idea behind that. I'm going to try and do that extra big room over there for some extra um, potential for keys as well. But yeah, I'll, I'll tweak it and see if, if the end game bosses end up being just ridiculous. Um, I don't want them to feel like they're an impossible task, if you know what I mean. Especially with the eternal bosses and stuff on as well. Um, I do like the, the fact that we've got these eternal bosses on. It is making things a little tougher. Also... I'm on kind of low health right now. I don't know exactly what, but I think I've been hit twice as this guy, so I'm on like one soul heart right now, I think. Uh, also, I've managed to switch over to the correct person, and we managed to get ourselves a bomb. Now, we don't have flip available, and we probably are unlikely to have it available. Now, one thing that I think I'm going to do here is going to go for my curse room, just to see if I can eke myself out an extra charge. I'm hoping there's enemies in here. There indeed is. Unfortunately, that does mean we flip, which, is, which means getting out of here is going to be a little bit saucy. But I'm going to go back and pick up that half soul heart. That's kind of why I did this. Um, is there any way that I can get both a bomb and the half soul heart here? I don't think there is, right? Wait. Hmm. No, okay. Okay. Right. I've maybe screwed myself here. But I'm going to risk it anyways. I'm just going to go into the boss and hope I don't die. We did get a boss that's going to give us a soul heart if we kill it. Um, which I'm very much hoping we will. It would be quite the embarrassment to die to Larry. Um, I don't know if I've ever died to Larry. Th th there's got to be a time that I have. Like, I, I, like, he's definitely not a hard boss. But at the same time, he can do some messy stuff where he traps you in corners and stuff. So... But anyways, we'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm rearing up for the, the question of the day here, but I'm actually a little just afraid right now, so I'm just gonna <laughs> stay focused. Cause like I've, I've hit the guys so much and I have so much damage, but nothing, they're not dying. And it's scaring me. Okay, we've pretty much taken out all of his segments now. There you go. Let me get the soul heart there. So ooh, ooh, eternal, eternal fly coming at us. No, thank you, little fella. 
Uh, Travka Maya, doesn't matter to us. We'll just take on you. Um, you can also have that. But then I think what I want to do here... This, this might not work, by the way. Okay, wait a minute. Do I have anything in my donation machine? No, I don't. Okay, this probably won't work. <laughs> I My intention here, my sort of play that I was going for... Give me, give me you. My play that I was going for was to get enough money to buy. Oh, I suppose we could blow up this guy. This could give us it. It did. Okay. So we get enough money to buy. Because I like the idea of the cursed candle. So we grab the cursed candle as you... Then we flip and grab this as you. I think that's a pretty good way of doing things. I, I still think our health is in a pretty bad spot. I think this guy's at half a soul heart, so I'll be on one and a half now. And we didn't get a key to go down to the downpour straight away. Um, but I think we played that right. I think we got a good amount of value out of that floor. Okay, we're on two soul hearts, actually. But yes, as for the question of the day, what is the last form of exercise you did? And that, like, even going to the fridge counts. Because I've done nothing today. And I'm feeling a bit deflated. <laughs> feeling a little bit uh, deflated. Because I haven't really done anything. So does this do damage? Okay, it does do damage, but not a lot. The main thing we're getting out of it also... Lose our devil deal. I don't really care about losing our devil deal. Um, I would like to get angel deal. So I should care. That's kind of nice. It's going to guarantee we can get into the uh, thingy room. But yeah, the Chaos Candle seems interesting, especially for bosses, because once we use it, they're going to take extra damage. Like, for things like Mother later on, if we manage to get that far, that is. Seems like it could be very, very useful. And also, it's on a recharge throughout the room, so we can use it multiple times in one room too. So if the um, debuff doesn't last long, we can get more out of it. So let's get some charges first before we go into our item room here. Always better. Try and get both the items out of Flip. By the way, I do realise that I probably use Flip wrong a lot of the time. Forgive me for I have sinned. Um, ah, forgive me for I have sinned. But I will try and remember how to use it correctly. Because I often do use it quite wrong. Yeah, let's just go straight for the boss, actually. We've got the, the candle ready and rearing to go. And I kind of... Okay, this guy is eternal. Which means he's going to be spawning some Mega Troll Bombs. Which... Doesn't bode too well for us, but I think with the fires, it'll be okay. Although, that one didn't go so well. The balls he throws are a little mean. Okay, that was really nice. We get a huge debuff on him. Good, good. Okay, now that guy would normally drop an Eternal Heart, but I'm not that bothered about that. We did get our Devil Deal. I'm, of course, going to skip it because I'd rather have Angel. Um, we'll keep moving on over here. And check this out. We get, um, ooh, some good stuff here. So we get the not as you, which is really good. And as you, we get strawberry, which, if you didn't know, is flipping nuts. Especially with marked. Because we basically get double damage with almost no downsides. It's getting nerfed, but it hasn't been nerfed yet. The, we got this room again. I swear the, the people that make rooms for Ipecac are just going crazy mode, going psycho. But yeah, so essentially if we keep it our aim in one spot, while we're moving our aim, our damage goes down. But once we once we settle it, we gain uh, double damage for the entire time. So, Okay, so I've got to be careful when I'm using Mart because the, the candle kind of flies out immediately. The, also, the damage scales back up very, very quickly. Hey, that gave us double bombs. And we've got the knot here as well, which I really, really like. As you can see, it stuns enemies, does a good bit of damage. I'm hoping we can get ourselves a soul heart for Chuboy here. I should take a look in here to see if there's any pennies. Uh, there is a half heart. Yeah, I, I do want to see if I can get a soul heart for this guy. Just to try and protect our angel deal on the downpour, because it might be a little tricky to keep that alive. Ooh, baby. They are two very good items that I'd pleasantly take. But unfortunately... We don't have the money. Um, I will bomb this. Just to see what we get. We got a luck penny, which I'm pretty happy about. And some money as well. Second secret room's likely here as well. Let's try that out. I do want to keep some bombs because I need two for the end of the next floor. What the hell's... These are interesting. Okay. So what do I actually want from these? I think cards, right? 
These are very interesting. Bomb, pill, battery. Okay, so it's battery we want to be landing on. Card. Um, boom. Card. Bomb, pill, battery. Card. And... Damn it, missed it. Card. We got the booster pack that time, which gave us two booster packs for some reason. Okay, we got a hero font. This is a reverse Wheel of Fortune, not a hero font. Careful. This is a hero font. Um, random dice effect. No, thank you. It could it could reroll us. Um, then I think we take the High Priestess into the boss fight. I think that was pretty well played. I've got to say. Right, we're coming here. See, oh, we already killed the boss. I'm dumb. Um, I think we just take the Soul of Isaac, then, don't we? Soul of Isaac is kind of. Can I, can I have the Soul of Isaac, please? Thank you. I think Soul of Isaac is the obvious choice here. And we make our way down. But yeah, we've got a pretty slapping run here right now. This run's got some intrigue to it. Let's go. Definitely could have taken the batteries there, at least one of them, to charge flip up. But I don't think we need it desperately. So I thought there's not much point when a card potentially could be so much better. And just getting a single Hierophant out of that. I mean, I know Booster Pack kind of glitched out and gave us the Hierophant, but just getting that is is a, a lot, lot better. Ow. And yeah, yeah I gotta say, now that, we, now that we have the Soul Hearts, we're way safer in how we play. I wonder why these Finch things are coming up so often. One second, let me just check a setting real quick. It should be in Golden Collection. Ah, oh, there you go. We need to turn it to false. There's some settings here that need changing around. Uh, that I don't have. Because when you create a new save file, it doesn't transfer all of your settings over, I don't think. I maybe should have given the uh, the weakening curse to this guy. But I suppose if we get an active of some kind, we can always swap over. Another booster pack. Uh, we get ourselves Chariot. A double death card is decent. I'll at least use that for a room. Okay. You're going to spawn a leechy boy. Double key. I'm loving the broken murder spawns. They're making me very happy. Keep our bombs, remember? In fact, we should probably check in here to see if we can buy a bomb just in case. We can't, which is unfortunate. We do get a crawl space. Which is to a black market. I'll check out the black market. There's a giga bomb down here. Um, now I'm I'm a little I'm a little confused here. Right. So first of all, let's just leave here. I'm a little confused. Can Golden Champion Belt would be great. It would be really good. But I don't know how flip works with purchased items like that. Probably how I'm thinking it works, but I just gotta know. Also, we got the bombs we need here. Golden Clicker respawn as a random character. Um. I honestly don't really care about getting the, the flip reward side of this, so I'm just going to leave it. Reward, uh, respawn as a random character seems useful enough as it is. Right, so let's go down here. I think we take stopwatch as this guy. I'd, I'd like to do it the other way around, actually. I think we should take stopwatch as the other dude and uh, golden champion belt as this dude, because this dude doesn't really have great damage yet. I mean, his damage is pretty good, but it's nowhere near the, the same as the other guys. So let's... um. Let's see if we can organize this to, to work in our favor here. What is going on in this room? I don't have the speed to support this. Okay. Empress? I don't really think Empress is all that useful to us here. That did not work the way I wanted it to at all. Actually, it did. Actually, it did. Although... I have just noticed. Wait, dude, I, I physically can't escape this. I've not got enough speed to get out of this. Oh no, I think I'm I think I'm just about escaping. I didn't really think about the fact that it's basically impossible to get that um to get that cracked key. Right. 
axe that. That was horrible. <laughs> right, we go through here. We go down and around. Through here. Okay, so you take stopwatch. And then we flip and you get golden champion belt. Ooh, 30% chance to spawn a random pickup upon killing a champion. That just seems like easy money. <laughs> that seems so useful. Also, I realize I haven't used my uh, my thingy yet. I'm probably going to use it on the angel deal. So we grab that as you just to make sure you've got a bit of safety there. Yeah, so now we got a big damage boost. More enemies are going to be champions. Not all of them, but I think like most. But 33% chance to get an extra drop on killing a champion. So I am I am curious how powerful this is going to be. Because that seems like a, a really intriguing synergy right now. I mean, we got that. We got a trinket out of it that time. And then we have slows this guy, which I think is perfect. I think this is a good setup. We got some good stuff going on. Let me just pause one sec. Okay, let's continue onwards. I think we've got some really interesting stuff going on. I still think we're in a little bit of a risky state here because we've not... Am I going to be able to get out of this room? Yeah, I am. Okay. We're in a bit of a risky state here, I think. Uh, I guess we just use this now. We need to do our mirror, so don't forget that. Okay, don't you fire your babies at me. And this guy's got Broken Murder as well, which is even better. So it's like one of them's got the slow mode to stop projectiles from hitting us. The other one's got Broken Murder to stop the projectiles from hitting us. And then this is plus one damage up, which is pretty good because it's going to get multiplied. Um, we'll double bomb this door. I, I, I still, I don't know if... Um, I don't know if it's going to be okay going mother with the amount of boss armor she has, but I feel like we've just got to try it, haven't we? Right, let's go through here. Let's hope we don't die doing this. That would be tragic. Um, okay. Nice. Oh, wait, what? This guy's the regular version? I forgot that it worked like this. I, I really hate this room. <laughs> Oh my god. That room's very risky. I wonder if this means Eternal Champions are going to appear more often. I'd be curious to see. Probably, because there's an Eternal Champion there. We almost just died, but I think we're okay now. I don't know how I didn't take any damage there. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're going to get a lot of drops as this guy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We even got the creme de la creme. The ultimate. The blessed leaf. The most broken thing you'll ever see. Grab, grab. Yeah, broken leaf is busted. Let's keep her moving, though. Got flight in here, so it doesn't really matter. Back through the mirror and onwards towards the mines. Okay. Let's go. I'm excited for this run. This run's got some interesting prospects. Like I said, I still, I'm still really worried because I think Mother is going to be obscenely difficult. I think she's going to have, like, a lot of boss armor. Um, I don't actually know. In fact, should we go and check now and just see what we're in for? Because we might be in for some real pain. Um... Here we go. Mother. Does mother have any? Mother's... Okay, no. Actually, she had 90 boss armor and it's increased to 120. It should be harder, but not significantly harder. She already had 90. I, for some reason, didn't think she had any, which was foolish of me. Also, pick this up before everything dies, because I don't want stencil. I don't need it. Especially not on this guy. This is so cool. We're getting trinkets galore and all this sort of good stuff. I'm liking it. 
And we got this guy with like the uber damage. Got some clickety clacks over here. A little annoying, but as long as we let our damage build, pretty easy. Hello. Oh, I was like, why the hell aren't I firing? And then I realized I don't have marks as this character. I'm just sat there waiting, waiting for something to happen. Okay, so I think we leave both of you for the other character. For our other half, which makes it sound like we're married, but yeah. God damn, with Broken Murder involved too, we're just, the consumables are just insane. Boom and bow. Obviously, we don't have any um, red health to fill those up with right now. That's fine. Trying to look for a appropriate usage of my soul of Isaac as well. I'm, I'm trying to sort of wait for an angel deal for that, but obviously we've not been doing too great on those so far. Thought we would have got one by now, but it's okay that we haven't. I love the fact that we got the knot as well, just to make sure that these champion enemies aren't causing us too much issue because we can just kind of stun them. We got a Soul of Keeper. Not very good as a Soul of Keeper goes, but that's pretty nuts. <laughs> I suppose it, because it's like, it's a very balanced item normally, most likely, because it's only a 33% chance, and obviously champions don't spawn all that often. But when you've got the power that I have of basically every enemy being a champion, it starts to really, um become something something else. Okay, we can buy a half soul heart. It's only five cent, but I'll buy it anyways. Do we have a red heart? We don't have a red heart in here. We have one over here, though. We can come back and heal up on this red heart if we'd like, which, for my burn heart, if I can keep it alive, I probably do want to do. Secret room? Hmm. Let's have a look. See here, maybe? Damn. We've got plenty of bombs, so I don't mind now, but maybe I'll try here. There we go, baby. There we go. Unfortunately, it's a charge beggar, which actually isn't terrible because it means we can charge up flip if we need it. But not really what I was looking for. I was looking for items. This room seems a little tough. Yeah, yeah, just because of that. I don't know if I've ever not been hit by one of those unless there's a, like a physical wall stopping them from hitting me. Nice. I guess we just take on the boss straight away here and hope for the best. Not a great boss for our current setup, I'll say. Actually, I don't know. Maybe with marks it might be okay. Might have a little bit of an easier time taking the enemies out with marks. Okay, didn't manage to hit that fire. With Marked, it's a little hard to use that. I hate these enemies. You dusty boys. Look how long they're taking to kill. Like, is it even dead yet? Okay, there you go. Is that all of them? It's not even all of them. Oh my god. Pain. Absolute pain. I wonder if all of these guys would be champions with a champion bell thing. I don't actually know if the uh, the waves on this guy can spawn champions. Maybe only if you have the curse. Ah. I, just, I was just like, why is the wave not ending? Turns out there's some enemies over here. Okay. Last wave, oh no, second to last wave. This is taking a while. Beautiful. I definitely want to swap over the uh, the candle. I think it'll be way more usable on the other guy. God, can you stop spawning these bloody enemies? The worst. I have to like f face away from them because if I shoot towards them, they seem to just not spawn. I have to shoot this way and then start firing once they approach. None of them are dead yet. I think he just accidentally killed one of them. 
how are we not done yet? <laughs> this game sometimes. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. Check what we got here. Oh, that's not great. Um, It's not terrible, but it's not really what I was looking for. Ooh, I tell you what, though. I don't know why I decided to activate them both at once. Seems like a just terrible idea, considering I could have, you know, not. It's not going too bad, actually. It's, it's about to go badly. I'm mainly just focusing this one down at the minute. I can try and kite them into the fires if need be. Broken Murdom is the best. Remember when Broken Murdom used to, like, literally suck so hard? Oh, I lost my Eternal Hearts. Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't. I took two Eternal Hearts. I'm stupid. They, they became a whole heart straight away. So, you may be wondering why'd I do that. And I actually might be wondering that too, because I flipped over and I don't have my fucking Soul of Isaac anymore. It's okay. We should flip anyways. It's still worth it. So flip, Soul of Isaac, Isaac. and we get that and that. Both very good items. Now, Eucharist's a bit of a weird one, because it doesn't really work right. <laughs> also, the Glyph of Balance is insane for drops. Guess we'll take that too. Um, no Mausoleum yet, right? Okay, no, good. Okay, we move on down. I did see my item room on that last floor, didn't I? I hope I did. Wasn't really paying attention. Did I? I don't think I did. Yeah, I, I, just, I just skipped my item room. Yeah, we got 21 planetarium chance. Apologies, that was stupid. Ooh, this room is not nice. Oh my god. This room's pretty evil. It's a pretty cool design though, but I'm struggling. Okay, we're here. Yeah, I don't know why I skipped that item room. Let's just hope it leads to a planetarium and my, uh, my stupidity is rewarded. Then again though... I did just have to use, um, I did just have to use my flip there, so it would have been kind of hard to have utilized my flip on my item room anyways. So it's not like I missed out on two items. But I did miss out on one. There is tech two in there. I think tech two with marked is pretty good. This guy needs a tears up as well. That'd be, that'd be really nice. Okay. This dude needs a lot more HP. <laughs> okay. Lots of red hearts there. Okay, soul heart to buy is very nice for our other dude because he kind of needs it. Spinning gyro boys are after me. Okay, good. God damn, the amount of trinkets that drop from this is crazy. Yeah, our tier rate on this guy is so low. An extra bomb as well. Right, so go back over here. Most certainly buy the spirit heart. A one off on flip. And we'll be the right character in a sec as well. Take you out first. Okay, so we go over in there. We want to be finishing the boss fight as this guy, by the way. So we want to be our other dude when we fight the boss, I think. Because otherwise, Eucharist won't proc, I don't think. I don't really know how Eucharist works with this dude. It might have been changed. Right, so we take that as you. And then we flip and we take that as you. This should work, right? Yeah, there you go. Very high damage tech 2 laser. Let's actually go back down this way first. Make sure to get our knife piece. Do not forget that. Preferably want to do it as this guy as well because he has higher base speed. We just need to see if there's any yellow buttons over here, really. There isn't. Yeah, good, good. Going well. I will leave the boss for now so I don't accidentally leave the floor. Because that's what I did last time. I think we've created two very nice characters here. 
The only problem is our other guy's HP. This room was really interesting. I really like the design of this one. It's a bit evil, but I love it. Alright, so we don't want to do it as you. But there's our last button, I think. Good, good. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm going to have to go fight the boss, aren't I? I forgot there's combat in this room quite often. Yeah, we're going to have to go fight the boss. I do not want to fight... I do not want to go through the mother fight with low speed. I realize that this is just needless time wasting. But I really think it's worth it. Damn it. I was hoping I could maybe get some out of that. Might might be worth going for a blood bag there with the blood donation machine. It's certainly plausible. I just fight the boss. So I think I'm fighting it as the wrong guy as well. I don't know if... Oh, I think we got a champion on. Yeah, we do have champion Hornfell. This guy is, as you can see, using a lot of fire. We've also got bees going around, which is nice. Ow. Took a bit of damage. Not too much, though. The bees are actually doing a, a very nice job of taking this guy out. He gave us a soul heart as well. And there's our angel deal. Good. You... You don't need that as much. Let's leave that for now. Let's come in here. We don't have flip, which is stupid of me. The other thing was sensor, though, to be fair, which on the mother fight is terrible. Um, white robes is pretty nice. We'll take that. And honestly, I guess we just take that on you now. And that means he's got higher speed, which obviously doesn't affect the chase. But having higher speed is just generally quite nice anyways. Right, can we get to this blood donation machine? We can. I think we should definitely use it because we've got some red hearts lying around. I'm hoping for a blood bag here. I really am. I might need to buy a battery to recharge Flip as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. I can't buy a battery to recharge Flip. Just because now I'm going to have to pay my HP with my other character. Well, like with this guy. Which is obviously really not good for the mausoleum door, that is. The blood bag play didn't work. Should we gamble on a pill? Just relax. There's a chat. I, I don't know. Does it, does it flip you when you finish this? I don't actually know. Yeah, we start with a little bit better speed on this guy, so I thought it was necessary. But I've probably doomed myself on this character a little bit by having to spend the HP on the mausoleum door without really thinking about it. That was probably a little bit of a bad idea, especially if I get hit during this. If I get hit during this, things are going to look pretty rough for this character. And if you die on one, you die on both, so... We'll see, we'll see. I put myself in a precarious position. Gimme. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can make that. Why did I? I took a really weird route around that then. Heart. Mate. Oh, you were nowhere near. No, he was right on top of me. But like, he should have dived in a different direction. I can't deny that I was in the way. But come on now. You're just a dick. So, yeah, we're going to be in a very precarious position for uh, Mausoleum Door now, because we've got one and a half hearts. That's if we don't get hit again, which, honestly, I can't guarantee. Just dive at me, you stupid. Oh, we made it through there pretty easily. Yeah, we didn't flip, unfortunately. I don't think we have any way to flip, really. I mean, Curse Room could do it, but obviously that would just use HP anyways, so not a good idea. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a potential way out of this. Tears up is nice. 
Tears up is nice. Should I carry on trying to play for the blood bag? Damn. Um, it, nah, it's going to put him in too risky of a position. He's already in kind of a risky position as it is. I'm, I don't like this, but it's what we got to do. Hoping maybe the poop give me a soul heart. Do we have any other way of getting any soul hearts here? This could be second secret room. As could this. And as could this. Tried them all. Eventually got there. That's an eternal heart. That, that puts us in a slightly better position. And then I guess we could look for a regular secret room as well. Oh, wait. No, that's flipped us. That's flipped us. Okay. Okay, we're in the money. We're in the money. That's that's worked out just fine. I need to pause again. One second. Okay, we are good to carry on. Yeah, now we've got access to the mausoleum door with this guy, which is fantastic. Puts us in a way better position for the next floor. We've got our knife. Mother, we are on our way. Our kid. Not really for us right now. Also not really for us right now. It's annoying that we got the tears up pill on the character that didn't particularly need it, but it is what it is. Oh, we got a planetarium! Hell yes! <laughs> um, we got Jupiter. Jupiter's the other one. We need to give Jupiter to this guy. Um, Saturnus would be way better on that other dude. He needs the damage boost. And also this guy needs the HP, so we flip first. Where's that ghost? He's got the air. Okay, so now we've flipped over. Come over this way. We grab that as you. And we grab that as you. I realize there's a speed down, but the speed doesn't matter all that much, I don't think. Yeah, it puts us at one speed. And now we're chonky too. Like, being chonky, uh, there's no better blessing in life. I was shooting at the wrong skulls for a hot minute there. Oh, the double dime player. The double dime player. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be really nice having the Saturnus there to give us some extra shots. Um, I think I'll actually save that for the other character now. The HP is kind of evened out and swapped over a little bit. I still want a good way to flip over our um, active item. I'd rather have it on the other guy. Really hate this. Luckily, I got it quite easily. And we continue on. Oh god, I just realized what this room is. <laughs> I walked into it thinking, well, that's nice. Turns all enemies in the room to cards that spawn friendly monster cards. Enemy enemies that enter... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Um, we don't have flip available yet, so let's get it ready and then we'll come back for that. But that seems cool. Not only is that from the um, the inscription mod, but it's also just sound, it sounds like a very cool item anyways. So I'm, I'm, I'm down to clown with that bad boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the brimstones. The power is on. But yeah, I wanted flip ready because I do want the other, um, the other thing as well because it shows us our secret rooms. So we can grab that as... Wait. Mm, do we want to grab it as this guy? No. I think what... this is, I'm doing a lot of back and forth here. I am dumb. A little bit dumb. Uh, doing a little bit of back and forth here, I realize it's probably kind of frustrating to watch. I apologize. But my thought process now is, if I... If I flip over, I can buy it as the other guy and then pick it, pick up the, the active we already had... Yeah, pick up the active we already had, the, the candle, once I flip. You see? You see? And that's, that's our way of changing actives between characters. So we come over here. God, look at that chunky walk. Look at him go. So we come over here. We grab this on you, which is an active. Then we flip.
That did not work the way I thought it would. More proof that I don't understand how this character works. So we've lost Curse Candle. It's gone. Um, <laughs> I thought it would just drop it on the floor. I didn't think it would flip it back. I thought it was only items that were, like, not touched that could flip. I was proved wrong this day. I told you I don't really know how flip works. I'm not very good with it. Good. So now we have the wildlife camera. And we can do that. Wow, that's a flash. And then we can go like this. Wait, what? Ah, oh, it doesn't bridge the gap. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll just spawn you. Ooh. That's very nice. I know that we can't get Akeldama, but I don't really mind. Yeah, I'd like to get these over the gap, but I can't, unfortunately. Yeah, and uh, the nails here are pretty good. I like that. It's going to be a nice damage boost. Ooh, it turned him into a champion, too. Scratch a card. Okay, it was a single penny. Thank you. But yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some, like, prime enemies to use the camera on. But also, even if there's not, it's just, it clears out a full room. It kills a full room. It is a bit bright, I'll say that. It's a bit bright. Dice bag and another trinket over there. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, let's go for you. The Siren. No champion version, unfortunately. I do want to see some of the champion versions of this guy, because they are pretty cool. I think you're stopping my tears from hitting you, aren't you, right now? Or is it just that I don't have enough range? It's probably more so that I don't have enough range. My knife fires in the direction that I'm aiming my mark thing in, even if it's a diagonal. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize it could do that. If she stole my knife. Careful. No, it hit me. God damn it. I'm so bad at dodging that thing. Even though it's, like, super easy to dodge. Um, I guess you're getting more damage. Although, let's just leave that for now and, and maybe we'll give it to the other guy. Lawful. You, you're going to throw a lawful my way, are you? I think I have to. Let's take that. You can have the damage. Beautiful. And we go down to the next floor. Yeah, very successful floor there. I'm a little scared of lawful. If you don't know what lawful does, every single item on this floor will all be of the same item pool. And that item pool could be any item pool in the game. So every single item we find could be a baby. Or they could all be devil deals. Or they could all be secret rooms. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. But I feel like our runs are good enough now where taking the risk of lawful isn't going to be a devastating matter. Even if we get some really bad pool selections. Automatically uses your space bar item when they're fully charged. Um, okay. Ooh, marked is really bad in this room. The, the ghosts only stop moving when we're not firing. Well, we've got marked out, we fire constantly, so let's be careful. This room again? A little awkward, but we did it. Ooh, let's grab that chest first. Two pennies for a full chest, you kidding me? But now we can go in here and go, hello, goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait, what? They're not dead. Excuse me? <laughs> this is incorrect. Oh, uh, spawns a fam random friendly humanoid. Okay. Well, isn't this something? <laughs> We've gathered a little army around us. I do not like these eyes. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit in that room. I like the fact that they're all champions as well. It's pretty beautiful. Come along, fellas. Let's go. They stick with us through our uh, flips as well, which I expected, but it's just nice to guarantee, like, to confirm. 
Go, my minions. <laughs> You've done my bidding, thank you. Okay, so I think we're looking at the shop pool here. Um, and tier to NA is actually fantastic here, so I'll take that. And we'll flip and grab the manuscripts. Oh, no way. Is this a busted synergy that I've just found? Every time we use a card, we get a half soul heart. Now, just remember, also, this guy seems to be completely... These dudes seem to be completely broken because uh, they flipped on broken modem. Which, if you didn't know, if you flip while the broken modem lag is active, they stay lagged for the whole time. Um... But yeah, I think I think we have um, a potentially pretty broken synergy going on. You'll, you'll, if you haven't already figured it out, you'll see it in a moment. Right, so we're gonna go over to that big room. Yeah, those guys have broken mode and glitched, and they're just stuck. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, I think we have a pretty busted synergy going on right now. If it works the way I think it does, so we come in here, we see a good few enemies, we blind literally all of you. I apologize and. Yep, that's a half soul heart for every single enemy we turn into a card. Now, I keep forgetting that it doesn't just end the room. So I keep wasting HP here. It's very confusing. Is there an enemy? I don't know what's enemies and what's not anymore. Yet yeah, the room's over, apparently. Okay, we want to we wanna leave those on the floor for now. We don't have manuscript as this guy. But yeah. We can um, we can generate quite quite a many soul hearts. Also, this guy has a unique synergy too, which you may again already realize. Many people already know what it is. Um, oopsie, didn't mean to grab that. In fact, maybe kind of good. I'll see. I'll see. Might be worth keeping. We'll definitely play this thing. No! You lobbed my bomb back at me! Who did that? <laughs> Who, which one of you did that? You little fuckers is what you are. Little fuckers. Uh, there's gonna be a, a lot more back and forth on this floor again, I apologize. I'm looking for the secret room here. Not entirely sure where it would be. Yeah, we're gonna things are gonna get visually quite confusing, as you can probably already tell. But yeah, we have a way of getting a lot of enemy familiars, but also quite a lot of soul hearts. Because every one of these cards gives us a half soul heart. That's quite a unique little synergy we've got ourselves there. My god. <laughs> this is stupid. I've not found any Eden's Blessings yet, unfortunately. By the way, I think one of these dudes can revive out of the fallen minions. So, there's that. For the most part, my minions are going to handle pretty much everything for us, I think. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, I don't actually think I like the bracket key thingy, so should avoid that in the future. Okay, this room was actually finished and over. Um, yeah, I don't think I like the bracket key trinket. Oh my god, things are so confusing right now. Um, let's try and reroll these bad boys. If we can visually see what's going on, that'd be nice. Now, Alabaster Box would kind of what? Okay, you blew it up. Alabaster Box is gone. I guess I'm just buying this now. Don't know what's going on. Leshy's camera is pretty broken. Yeah, one of our dudes is, like, summoning other things and reviving them. So, let's, um, go like that. 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 And that. 
you know, just a casual unlimited HP. We've got these dudes clearing rocks for us. <laughs> this is this is nuts. How did we how did we reach this point? I, I wonder is is the mum fight gonna just annihilate every single one of these? I do wonder. I feel like it probably will. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? I, I don't know what's mine and what's not. I really don't. I have no idea. Where do I even begin to look during this mess? Picked that up as the wrong guy, didn't I? We finally got us. We got Alexa Baby here. And then we flip and we get Eden's Blessing. Which is a finally a tears up for this dude. Don't drop a bomb on that guy. Damn it. We should have left the soul heart that was there. Oh, we got a patched heart there as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for us. God damn. Yeah, this is just crazy. We got a booster pack there for some reason. I think when some of these guys are dying because their champions were getting drops. I think that's what's happening here. Which is rather interesting. Ow. I, I don't... Okay, so most of them did end up dying. I can't, like, find where to stand in this mess. I don't know where I should be standing. Where do my feet go? Hi, Priestess. We got an Anzus, which is going to be good for the next floor, at least. Got diggity damn. So we, we, we basically have to fight as our Fart Lord. Because we've got the HP on him. Well, Anzus here. We'll try and utilize Leshy's camera in one of the bigger rooms on this floor. Also, I think we've got extra damage with this guy, and we don't have to aim as this guy, so do, do fighting Mother with this guy just makes sense. Yeah, and then every, every single one of them has been transformed to a champion look. Everyone that can, at least. That's so funny. We do have a big room before the boss. Honestly, we don't need the soul hearts right now, so let's just pop these bad boys. <laughs> the army continues to grow. Two batteries. Thank you. And it just makes some rooms like quicker to clear as well. Ow, I got hit by something. I think I got hit by this dude. The um the little shooter in the middle. Oh, wait. There was... There was something I forgot to do over there. Um, the moon card will make it easier, so I'm going to go do that. And it'll also give us half a soul heart. Yeah, I forgot to have a look in here. Brawl space. Binky is probably better served on the other guy. So is Burn Hurting Juice, honestly. Let's fight a room here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what this is about, like, when a room spawns a Eternal Champion, it's like everything in the room has to be Eternal Champion. But why? I don't understand. Check down here real quick. We're going to have a, a lot of fellas chilling out down here. There's a boss down here? <laughs> What's up here, then? Wait, what? Was that just to fight a boss? Okay. Intriguing, I guess. Anyways. Come on, fat boy. Let's go. 
I don't know who's gulping, but someone's gulping up and healing people. I think he's healing all my other familiars as well, which is kind of funny. It's these two portals that are really overpowered. They just keep summoning more and more flies. That keeper's got a funky looking face. Ow! Excuse you. Oh, now the portals are broken too. Broken murder. How are you so rude? We got mum's box there. Weird. We could break mum by abusing the broken murder thing, to be honest. But it mean it means I'd have to. Although I don't I don't know. Maybe it'd work. I'd have to go in as the other guy and flip. I could try it out. It's not like he's super weak. I don't know if it breaks the fight in any unintended ways, though. Like, it is in, like, is it going to soft lock me sort of thing? Okay. This is only Corpse 1, so we don't have to worry about it now. Take it all. Take it all. I like the way it's like fail, but it gave me a dime. Dime's pretty good considering I didn't want the bombs. Right, let's go do the boss. See just how that might go. He is eternal. That's a little scary. He did. Wow. He didn't last long. Got a booster pack here. Turns all uh, pickups and enemies in the room into wisps. Wow. Um, into blue spiders, spawns two batteries. So I think I'm going to take this. This one's really overpowered. And we got quality stamp and ballot because we're on the shop pool again, unfortunately. That is double soul heart droppage right there. Okay, we'll get out of here. To the next floor. Let's go. Okay, I'm, I'm reasonably confident on Mother now, I think. So if I do, like, Ace of Wands in here, it, like, turned them all into Wisps, then instantly removed them, so I'm not quite sure what that's about. That's all cards. That's a lot of cards. <laughs> We're about to rebuild our army. Oh, wait, get Nurk. There's our wisps. It's just because we swapped back. I see. I see. I'm just silly. Right. Let's come back in here and start gobbling. One of them became a scratch card for some reason. It's going to take a little while. By the end of it, we will have a ridiculous army, though. There should maybe be a limit of like three cards per room for this active. Because this is kind of nuts. <laughs> Big fly boy. And the last one. Okay, we have our new army. They have been summoned. Let's go. Hopefully we can find the boss relatively quickly here. Immediately say that and go the wrong way. All of you become my champions. Thank you. I love the fact that they become champions. We've got ones healing each other and all sorts of stuff. Explorer's Instinct, thank you. That was very good timing on your part there, Explorer's Instinct. The Cracked D20... While not super good right now, is pretty good in general. Right, go for the boss. Also check our secret room real quick. We could get something quite spicy in there. Who knows? 
Even opens the doors for you. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Just the absolute onslaught. Come on, fellas. Let's go. I don't need the camera in this room, I don't think. Oh, those guys are firing more shots than normal, right? Damn, it would have been great in this room, though. You know what? Just use it. Why not? All of these are maggot cards, though. Not the best. One of them just charged straight into the spikes, too. This is a shop. Hello. Book of Revelations. <laughs> are we in the library pool? I think we're in the library pool. Yeah, we are. Every item in this floor is a library item. I mean, herming for a room's pretty good. I'm gonna swap out that for thingy. Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's do this. Go back this way. Take out you fellas. Easy room. Go back. Leshy's camera, you've been fun. You've been good to me, but I don't think we need you anymore. Also, let's so let's grab that. But then we need to, yeah, we need to be. Okay, this is this might not work. I'm gonna try it though. We go in as this guy. And then we flip Vega. We did it. We did it. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Mother's just stuck like this now. Yeah, if you get broken murder on either of these guys, you can just do this at any boss. Wait until they glitch. Then carry on. I think once you goes to the second phase though. It um, continues as normal. After that, or I've broken the game. Okay, no, she enters second phase just fine. Good. But yeah, it's a it's a really broken little trick secret you can do. Also, having Herming here is insane. Now we can just focus on dodging. The boss armor right now is kind of noticeable. We also now, basically, because of Herming, don't have to ever fire, which means our damage will never degrade. I love doing that little trick there. Yeah, we're killing we're killing her reasonably quickly. It's not crazy quick, but it's reasonably quick. But yeah, and also it means we can do this. <laughs> Look at him, he's just T-posing. Cycle all the way around you and not have to actually move our aim at all. It's beautiful. Calm down, mother. It's going to be alright. This run's been long, hell. This run's been crazy long. I didn't realise. We're almost done there now. Oh my god. Yeah, Mother's like, basically dead. I, I, I really thought we were going to have a lot more trouble with this, but honestly, we slapped it. Bashed out Mother. What a win. And there you go. You have been dropped, sir. You have been dropped. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a really fun little run there. And I will see you guys in the next one.